And shocking new information surrounding the death of a local man whose body was found in a Cobb County dumpster last month. A co-worker and close friend of the victim tells News Edge reporter Janice Yu the 66-year-old man knew his accused killer and was even trying to help him out when instead he was killed. That friend tells me an app on his phone that allows location sharing played a big part in all of this. He says that location sharing was what raised red flags and ultimately caused him to reach out to Cobb County Police. I knew it was something very serious. I didn't know it would be this tragic, but I knew it was something serious. Sam Haskell says he knew something was wrong when his friend James Creighton hadn't shown up for work. Unusual because he'd never missed a day of work and because his phone showed him miles away in Cobb County. I thought it was odd that an hour before he's supposed to go to work, he's in Kennesaw at a gas station. He says Creighton's phone didn't ping again after that day. He says he reported him missing to Atlanta police on September 20th. Almost a month later, Haskell says he heard the news of a body found in a dumpster behind businesses in Kennesaw. Haskell called Cobb County police. But he asked two questions. One of them was, was James going to sell his BMW? And, um, and I said, no, absolutely not. And um, the second one was an odor from the BMW. He said, tell me about this odor. Police arrested Garfield Norris shortly after. According to a criminal warrant, Norris allegedly killed Creighton and then wrapped him in plastic tarp and other things and put his body in the dumpster. He's also accused of stealing Creighton's BMW, putting a fake license plate on it and making a fake bill of sale. Haskell says Norris and Creighton knew one another. In fact, he says Norris was one of the many people Creighton was helping out. Haskell says his friend was no stranger to lending a hand to those in need. James had no enemies. He was uh, <clears throat> treated everyone with respect and um, he wasn't judgmental. He um, he really liked everyone, even those that may not have been kind to him. It's quite sad to see something like this happen. So and especially, you know, in the hands of someone who he was helping. Norris is being held without bond. Janice Yu, Fox 5 News.